Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Brandon. And today we're going to tell you how we felt about R.I.P.D. Uh, R.I.P.D. is a comedy starring Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds where uh, they play two dead guys who are sent back to Earth to help rid the Earth of some rotting souls that are uh, essentially trying to take it over. And... Um, that's about that's about it. That's the, that's the story. That's what's going on. Ryan Reynolds' uh, character used to be a cop, and uh, now he's being enlisted as a cop. And it's either that or go to hell, um, basically. And um, and uh, Jeff Bridges is playing an old um, cop from the western from you know the western era from from the 1800s. And um, that's it. That's 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 pretty that's pretty much what's going on. So. Um, Watching, so uh, uh, this movie, Brandon, made me feel like watching all those movies, this one ripped off. That, that's, uh, that, that's how I felt about it. Um, primarily, uh, Men in Black and Ghostbusters. And obviously a lot of people, even just from the previews, were comparing this thing to Men in Black. And um, unfortunately, it's... <laughs> Kind of note for note, but not anything like as good. Um, is is kind of how I felt about it. Sure, there is major um, differences, but I uh, but like as soon as they went to the like the like headquarters for the RAPD, like the shot of the headquarters is like framed exactly like the shot of the headquarters of MIB. The the like the scoring is really similar. I was I was just like, wow, we went this far with this? And it wouldn't be so bad if there was more here that's original for this film. But um, you know, there's homaging and then there's just straight up cashing in on stuff that's worked well in the past. Um, Brandon, I felt like this movie was rushed. I felt like uh, the special <clears throat> effects were abysmal for the most part. Um, boy, I mean, like, like again, I don't know how to not compare this thing to Men in Black. Um, and, and we'll get into that a little bit later, I'm sure. But, um, I mean, like, like uh, in Men in Black, you had like like uh, like really good alien prosthetics for all of the um you know you know bad guys and uh, here it was all CGI and it was bad CGI and it wasn't integrated well and anyway um there are a few things here and here and there it's got its moments there are a few things that I thought I thought was kind of fun um I enjoyed the whole business of like the um the the the, the place that houses uh the entrance to the headquarters on Earth is a VCR repair shop because nobody needs VCRs repaired anymore. That's funny. There are some bits that are funny, but boy, it's not worth the few things I laughed at versus the millions of jokes that did not even begin to hit with me. Uh, there's also a scene that grossed me out to the point where I was uh, ca where I was coughing in the theater, um, and that's unfortunate. So anyway, um, all in all, I gotta say, man, I am not feeling it on this one. What did you think, Brandon? Uh, well, first I might mention <clears throat> I was I was gonna ask you about that coughing fit that you. Had because I'm, I'm like, oh boy, he, he might have to leave the theater on this yeah. one. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this was a, a hard read for me. Uh, the best I could come up with was it made me feel like a movie uh, that wanted to be a Western but wasn't, uh, mainly because of Jeff Bridges' character. Uh, I like Jeff Bridges. I think he's, uh, he's a fairly good actor, and uh, he has a, a wide range that he can... Portray. I think he did well in his position here. I did feel a lot of Men in Blackish, and you nailed it on the head when you said that the the openings that the the scene where we get to the precinct, R.I.P.D. It's dead the same as how they showed us M.I.B. It 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 just it absolutely is. Um, I did. I, this movie was all right for me. It wasn't. Uh, it had a bit of some over-the-top stuff, but you also said something that I was going to hit on majorly. The CGI, there were some terrible, terrible CGI. You could tell what was CGI. Um, there was there was a, a cup. There were a couple of scenes that actually had fairly good CGI, but it was the scenes were slowed down or stopped completely, and it's, so the CGI is just like. It would be like if you're looking at a painting. It's not like motion CGI. The motion CGI, you could tell it was 
CGI. Um, there are a lot of things that drew me out of this movie. There were a few things that kept me into this movie. I actually enjoyed the ending fairly well. Uh, <clears throat> well, I'd call it the first ending. There's kind of a wrap-up, and then they have one more joke afterwards, and I didn't care for the very last joke. Um, all in all, <clears throat> I'm saying on this one, uh, this one was tough for me because I, I did enjoy it a bit, but not for the theater. I'm not feeling it for the theater. Um, maybe a rental for some time. Wow, uh, wow. You're, you're, you're being far too easy on this movie. You think so? I, I do. See, I, I, really I, do. I know I liked it better than you did. Yeah. Um, this is so conventional, man. It is. I mean, like... It is, but... Th there's <laughs> nothing here different. we've not seen before, No, man. but this, I, is, this is kind of where we are a little bit different. I'm okay with that. But why? I mean, like, if, you, if, you, if you've already seen everything that's here and there's nothing... It, 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 this, this, this movie does, does not have... Like, I don't care about anybody in it. Right. I just don't care. Um, I, I thought that... Uh, I, I, Je Jeff Bridges does fine with what he's given. Right. And the over-the-top stuff is not mm -hmm. the problem I have with right. it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it's that, it's that kind of movie. Um, there but wasn't enough of that, I didn't think. Kevin Bacon was entirely wasted. I thought uh, I was going to... I meant to mention that, actually. Kevin yeah. Bacon. We needed more of him. We needed more. No, we uh, needed we, more. We, we, we needed a character worth right. his, worth worth his portrayal. Right. Um, I love Kevin Bacon, and this could have been anybody. Uh, and I, I, I feel like it's one of those movies that's really hinging on star power. Um, it, it tried Ryan to. Reynolds could have been anybody. The only the only person that it had to be uh, the, the actor that played it was Jeff Bridges. And that's because they clearly wrote a character around him, or right. at least that was the sense I got. Now I've not read the comic book. I, it's based on a Dark Horse comic. I've not read it, so I don't know if that's exactly what what that character was like in the in the Dark Horse comic. And then they went for him. But I mean, mm -hmm. like, I felt like he was just doing a parody of what he did in True Grid. I, um, I don't know. I mean, I just don't feel like there's really much of anything here. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but still. But, okay, but, but I'm just saying, like, like I, explain to I me, mean, what is it that you enjoyed about it, then? I, I, I guess, for me, I enjoyed the idea of what the, the, the premise of the movie. Yeah, it was a lot like other things, but the, the, the very exactly what... So, I mean... <clears throat> It's not something I would recommend to go see in the theater yeah, by any means. But I, I'm just saying I wouldn't recommend seeing it at all. Um, I, like, like, like I would. Um, and and just, just with you know, with with all due respect, Brandon. Um, oh, you don't have to respect like, my opinion no, at no, all. No, 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 no. I know, I, I do, I do. But what I was, but what I was going to say is, um, with 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 all due respect, you get the premise in the trailer. I mean, like, oh, there's yeah. there's nothing in the trailer. I mean, there's nothing in the movie that is clever that is not in the trailer for the most part. Right, they, and, and they give you it, one. It, of the better scenes in the trailer. Yeah, and they shouldn't have done that. It's completely concept <laughs> over ex execution, um, I, I think. Uh, yeah, the concept is fine. It's not an especially original concept. Uh, but, but I mean, like, you know, I would have I would have really liked to explore the mythology of this world. I feel like it's just a very lazy movie. Um, it's Like I said, it's hurried. The story is really, it, really it rushed. Is hurried. Uh, it, 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 it takes its time at no place to let us get a feel for, for these people and get in anybody's heads because...
maybe your teenage kids. Then show them Men in Black. I, again, there's just there's nothing here that we've not had before. Right. They better have already seen Men in Black. <laughs> uh, but it, well, I'm glad you had a better time than I did. I guess I am too. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Logan. <laughs> no, no, you don't apologize. I'm just, you know, I, I just wanted to know why you liked it more than I did. But in the end, and, and I have, I'm having a little bit of trouble articulating that sentiment exactly. Yeah, I sure. Just, I just know that I did. If I could explain it, I would. Maybe I'll get a synopsis later. Yeah, I'm just saying. I've I've seen I've seen so many things that have done this effect. This, this well, you've kind seen a lot more a than I have too yeah, exactly. in the long run. So maybe that has something to do with it. But yeah, perhaps so. I'm still. I'm going to say not feeling it, but... Yeah. Well, everybody, uh, thanks always for uh, watching us review a new movie. We'll review uh, The Wolverine for you next week. And um, until then, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Brandon. See you next time.